भगवान की अपेक्षा भी अधिक दयालु है भगवान का दर्शन ऐसे नहीं होगा वी कैन एट श्री कृष्ण इफ देर इज नो भक्ति एंड ऑल काइंड ऑफ अनर्थ हैज गन बट इन हैविंग अनर्थ वी कैन चांद हरे कृष्ण ने हम लोग समस्त अवस्थाओं में भगवान का नाम कर सकते हैं कलयुग केवल नाम आधार कलयुग में केवल नाम ही एकमात्र आधार है जीवों के लिए नाम के अतिरिक्त और कोई गति नहीं है जब जो तपस्या जितने भी अर्चन इत्यादि है सब में नाम प्रमुख है केवल यदि मुख से निकल जाए श्रद्धा भी नहीं रहे तभी नाम का नाम की कृपा होती है इफ यू हैव नॉट इवन श्रद्धा इफ दिस इज नमा भाव ये वी कैन क्रॉस बर्थ एंड लाइफ दिस ओशन इजी एंड इफ यू हैव सम रेस्पेक्ट ऑन अर्थ और नेम देन वी कैन गो अप टू प्रेज एंड सर्व कृष्ण एक समय वाल्मीकि रामायण जब बना उसमें एक लाख के श्लोक थे वैन वाल्मीकि रोड वाल्मीकि रामायण दर वे एवं वन लैक ऑफ से श्लोक हियरिंग दी श्लोक्स ऑफ वाल्मीकि रामायण दोज वेर प्रेजेंट फेयर human this persons asu and devata demi gods they began to follow themselves that i want to have this balmiki ram at one shankar appeared there and told that don't worry i will divide all these shlokas among you so he distributed man like a slow among men demi gods and demons demons 33 33000 but still 1000 slow remain again he divided into three then one shlok was there one shlok has four parts he divided one one part one part has eight letters then he gave it get to them three uh, two 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 then two word letters still remain these two names are ram or krishna yeah. shankar told that i have did so much labor to divide this so i will not give divide these two letters i will keep it in my heart so shankar is always reminding ram 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 or krishna these two letters are the heart of all vedas upanishads ramayan mahabharat and all epics so one by chanting this in the krishna aura we can easily get the service of krishna and easily it will go all kinds of suffering sorrows everything and we we'll go to by this way so our rishis muni sahib discovered this name in vedas in kalki upanishad that hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare ram hare ram 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 this is the kalju naam sankirtan kalju ka ye mahamantra hai is naam ko hum uchcharan karke 
कुछ भी ना करें और केवल इस सवेरे शाम को थोड़ा सा नाम कर दें भाव सागर को हम लोग पाठ कर जाएंगे कोटि कोटि यज्ञ कोटि कोटि तपस्या लैक्स एंड लैक्स ऑफ ए स्टोरी स्टोरी एंड ऑल अदर्स मीन्स कैन इट बी इक्वल टू नेम नाम के बराबर ये नहीं हो सकते हैं इसलिए कल युग में हरि नाम करके शाह ही और सागर को पार कर जाए अपना अपना वे संसार में रहते थे इससे और कोई सस्ता सुगम सरल सहज कोई उपाय
So tomorrow, Shil and I, Maharaj, will be coming to grace us with his dasha. Tomorrow we will be speaking in English. The program, at 11.15, there will be puja to Balaji, Sri Vakanteshwara. That will go on till about 12 o'clock noon. And at that time, Shil Maharaj will come and he will speak in English from 12.15 until and afterwards then there will be Aarti for Balaji and then Prashadam. Also now there is Prashadam. And also um, afterwards Prashadam is being served in the Prashadam hall.
So, this year, he is coming again to the West. He came last year. And we've seen that when A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, he came to the West in the 60s, there was an explosion of Krishna consciousness, not just amongst the Hindu community, but also amongst those who are members of non-Hindu community taken to Krishna consciousness and imbibing this... Um, Krishna Bhakti in their lives. So now we see with Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Maharaj, there's another Hare Krishna explosion going on, taking it to higher and higher heights. So you may not know that you're going to come here and take darshan of such a great Vaishnava. But somehow, by your Sukriti, you have this great fortune to be able to have darshan of such a person. You all know how A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada has made such an impact on the planet. And we see that now that Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj, a very close friend of Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, and by his, under his advice and instruction, he's coming. Similarly, such an impact is coming about on the planet. So he's in the car. He'll be arriving within a couple of minutes. The devotees here, they'll have a short kirtan to welcome him. And while Balaji is being dressed, he will give a short pravachan in English. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs>
ज्ञानंजनशलाकयाचुरुर्मिलितंजीनतस्मैश्रीगुरवे <coughs> वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नमो महावदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नमः गौरक्ति से गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदालय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद भक्ताय भक्त्या विहिना पराद लक्ष्य चेतास्त्र कामादि तरंग मध्ये कृपा मयिं पांग शरणम् प्रपन्न वन्दे नमस्ते चरणम् तं प्रब्रजन्तमनुपे तमपेत कृत्यम् द्वैपान्यनो विरहका तरया जुहाव पुत्रीति तन्मय तया तरवो भिनेदु तं सर्वभूतरिदयम् मुनिमानतेश्वर तवयुवास्मि तवयुवास्मि नजमानु तया बिना इति दिव्यं राधे तमय माम चरणा First of all, my heartly dandat pranam in the lotus feet of my holy master, Nitya Leela Pravishta, Om Vishnu Pashishun Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Vrishwan Maharaj. Also, I bow down in the lotus feet of my Siksha Guru Shishila Bhakti, Vedanta Swami Maharaj. We have come from India, especially from <coughs> Vrindavan. The devotees from England and all over the world they have a curiosity about Vedic culture. Now in this world, all are attracted and questions are coming, why all world, especially Western countries, are charming towards this? Really, we see that whole world is attracted now for Vaiti culture and knowledge. Because they have realized this fact that uh, <coughs> We are doing so much exercise <coughs> mentally and bodily to be happy. We know that now there are so many inventions in this whole world that it wanders. From medical science, home science, so many discoveries are going on. How to be happy? Whole world has come now very near 
we can see anything from here in any part of world we can hear just opposite of this sphere ping is a very remote village we can see and hear that now in a moment that labor party has come in in england in power one can see cricket and everything in india so this whole world has come very near but we see also that there is a course of this new civilization so we are all nearer but we feel no sympathy no love affection for any never what to tell of never wife and husbands have no sympathy <coughs> very rare they have no face faith to each other that is why they maintain separate bank accounts and everything children have se separate accounts wife has separate husband has separate all separate because no faith so this faith has gone now and actually no love for anyone if an in a same house anyone is going to marry and anyone is dying but no sympathy they don't know who is he and who is he so this is the problem of this new civilization <coughs> there is no love and affection for anyone we know that we are men but why we are men we will have to think that animals cannot think for future so we should try to think future who am i this question should rise who am i i am this physical body or anything else why i came here will have to be old one day if you are not dying just now there is not a man or woman those who have taken birth they will have to die certain when will die we will take nothing from this world from which we have struggled so much for whole life and and we have collected it this body will be also left here where to go who will go if these questions are not arising in our heart and mind certainly we are not more than an animal so also we think that we whatever we do we do for happiness but we think that none are happy even an emperor prime minister rashtrapati 
or rich persons are not happy. For a moment they are happy, but next moment so many problems comes. Why? We not wanted to be old, but forcibly will have to be old. So why these questions will arise in our mind? These questions have been solved in our Vedic knowledge and Krishna and Vedas, Upanishads, Mahabharata, Ramayana, especially in Gita and especially, more especially in Srimad Bhagavatam. I am going to explain something from Srimad Bhagavatam. From Gita you should know that this body is not myself. We are so we are part and parcel of Godhead, Krishna himself, who is the supreme personality of Godhead. We are servant actually of Krishna, eternal servant of Krishna we are. But now, coming in this world, we are forgetting him. And that is when all kinds of problems are coming. Let us go. 5,000 years before, when Parikshit Maharaj was the emperor of the whole world, he was so learned, he was so rich, he has beautiful wife, beautiful children, very big kingdom all over the world. So many experienced and wise persons were his, in his ministry. He was supported by Krishna, also you know. So, he was a very king person. And he has all equipments and all other things that a man can want. He has everything. He is so powerful, he was so beautiful, he was so wise. Beautiful wife, beautiful children, everything. But he was unhappy because in seven days a death will come and no one can protect him from that death. Because a boy of five has caused him that after seven days a serpent will come and he will bite and he will must die. Anyone cannot. So, he was so worried <coughs> what to do. He was in dilemma. He returned to king, returned to his kingdom, gave up his all ornaments and clothes, and he went to Ganges side, and he left his taking anything, eating, drinking, everything. And he was sitting on the bank of Ganges. At once, from whole world, from whole India and whole world, all the Rishis and Maharshis were realized souls. At once gathered there, assembled there. Vyas was there, Narada was there, Gautam, Hari, Jagyabal, Vishwamitra, Gautam, all others <coughs> were <coughs> assembled there. How they knew? There were, at that time, 5,000 years, no such way to like a what? Computer, internet, radio, <laughs> radio, internet, radio, or anything. No computer, nothing. But all knew. Because their soul was so 
so high class of a real life soul. Being here, by practice of bhakti yoga, one can know what to tell of this sphere, also by and prepare. They can know all hearts, how he is happy, how he is unhappy. He can tell everything, past, present and future they know. So they at once knew that after seven days, a serpent will come and bite Parikshit Maharaj. And he is now on the bank of Ganges river. So all easily assembled there and the very big Shabha assembly. assembly was there. In the meantime, a little young boy, like mad, but very beautiful, quite naked, nothing, no cloth was there. He was quite naked. When he was coming to this assembly, big assembly, and learned assembly, some boys were with him. They were naughty. They were giving dust on his body. Some women were there. They were looking towards this boy. How beautiful. But he is naked like a mad. They were also finding some stones on his body. But when he came near unto that assembly, King Parikshit Maharaj stood up. Nardrishi, Vyash, Angira, Gautam, all Jagyavalkar, all stood and welcomed him. And they took him, this boy, naked boy, who had not taken even a bath for long time, not washed mouth, dust was on his whole body, whole body quite like mad, and very respectfully all came and welcomed and they took him to the Vyasasana like this. And he sat on that quite naked. King Parikshit stood and did like this, folded hand, asked him, very regarding and honorably, that uh, if anyone is dying just now, he is on the bed of death. What he should do? And for another, this is the, this was the second question. That those who have taken birth after one day, two days, three days, आज कल या बरसों या परसों या बरसों जरूर उसको मरना पड़ेगा. Those who have come to this world, they will have also to die. So what they should do? First question, that those who are just dying, what they should do? And secondly, those who will not die today, but die tomorrow, after that day, after that day, in hundred years, thousand years, five thousand years, they must die. What they should do? This was the second question. How can we be happy? This is the question of all audience. This is the problem with all. So in general he asked Parikshit Maharaj, hmm, Sukadeva Goswami. You should look, you should see that one side the emperor, emperor of the whole world, having all equipments with him to be happy, so much money, pitiful young body, so a strong body, having so much power in the whole world, and another side, 
quite naked, no clothes, nothing, not a wristwatch to see the time, not a single footy cowdy, footy cowdy, you know, in India, not a farthing also. But he was so happy, not taking bath for so many long time. No care for his this body. But he was so happy having all things. <coughs> and we are seeing that Parikshit Maharaj having all things. What we want for be happy, happy in other side. You can imagine between, do, between both that who is happy? Having all things necessary for life is not happy and having nothing naked but he is happy. Why? This is Vedic culture, Vedic knowledge. He has Vedic knowledge he had, but Parikshit Maharaj, having all these things knowledge, but he was pretending to be like that. He was a proud bhakta. But yet, to give something for general persons, he was playing a part of, like he is not happy. He was not less than so, we should try to know what is that thing that Sukhdev Goswami was so happy and Emperor was not happy. So, we should know all these things from Srimad Bhagavatam. There is no book like this in the whole world. Also, it is this substance, it is the purport of whole Vedic scripture, Srimad Bhagavatam. Because Vyasa has collected it in his last days. After collecting, dividing four Vedas, he has met so many Purans, Mahabharat, Vedanta, Sutra, but he was not happy because his Guru Deva came and told that why you are not happy? We have given all kinds of knowledge. By Gita, you have told all things. But even you are not happy. He told, I don't know. Please tell me. He told that you have not told anywhere about Krishna. You have told something in Purans and Upanishads about Krishna, but you have not told about Gopi's Prem, love and affection. Coming to this world, if you have not this Prem, love and affection, your life is like animal. So, everywhere in Vedas, Upanishads, and especially in Srimad Bhagavatam, has been told that actually we are the servant of Krishna, and Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead. We can have the darshan of Krishna and service of Krishna, we feel have praying, love and affection. We have all affection in our hearts. But that love and affection is con confined only to self, to his family only. We don't know that uh, we are part and parcel and servant of Krishna. 
so a lion a tiger ferocious tiger has also some love and affection for his children and wife he can kill all persons but he will protect and he will have so much affection for his children you know that acts and thieves they kill so many persons but yet they love they have some affection and love for their children and wife and near and dear so every man has love and affection here but in sankirn way simit roop mein rakhte hain not for krishna not for any other else so this is the problem of this yuga or this civilization so parikshit maharaj is asking from here we should further go and we will see that sukadev goshami is explaining to parikshit maharaj he is telling that we are all part and parcel of god head and we have forgotten and for this reason we are unhappy and we will be unhappy for lakhs and lakhs coming birds if you are not have bhakti to krishna love and affection for krishna that is why krishna is so merciful bina karan cause causeless without any cause without any cause causeless merciful he is that is he sends his powers like a charge like guru and sometimes he comes himself so 5000 years before he came to this world especially in bandavan bhumi with his all associates how he came we see there are some regions what reason at that time comes a demon and his so many friends agasur bakasur putana all were making so much a problem for all they were free to take any wife to kill anyone to take all so this prithvi prithvi devi bhu devi are two ke shape of cow and went to brahma who has created this world and she was weeping brahma knew this fact and with all goddesses and semi god demi gods he went on the bank of krishamudra and he was meditating that prithvi is <coughs> bhudevi is so unhappy worry he should come and protect also there are two regions <coughs> dron and dhara <coughs> have done so much austerities they were doing aradhana of so prem personality of god hai that we want some prem love and affection for you we want to love and support you like my son and also kashyap and aditi 
the first man and woman of this world. They have also did so much hard stories for, from, for Supreme Personality of God. And they wanted that a son like you we can have. Narayan appeared before them and told that, yes, I will be your son because there is no other one like me. And he, Brahma also, gave benediction to Don and Dara that you will have affection and love and Supreme Personality of Godhead will come like your son, and you will support and nourish him. So Krishna came in Dwapar Yuga, in the last of Dwapar Yuga, to establish Yuga Dharma and also to kill demons and to save saints. Bhaksa. So he appeared in both places. Dorna and Dhara were Nanda and Jasoda, and Karsame and Aditi were Vasudev and Devaki. Vasudev and Devaki at that time they were in prison of Kansa. And Nanda and Jasoda were in Gokul, on the bank of Yamuna. In jail, he appeared like God, Supreme Personality of God. Four-handed, so curved hairs, so beautiful, having golden and jewels ornaments, like sixteen years old. He appeared. He did not come from home. But at the same time, in the same moment, he came from the home of Yasuda in Gokul. Like a boy, very little boy, natural. In Gokul, he played like a boy. Here and there. In Wahud he was so naughty. And in jail, he told Basudev and Dekri that you should take me to Gokul. Basudev Deki took him to Gokul. And this Krishna four handed was mixed in Krishna in two-handed and became a little boy, baby. And he began to be like general boys. He became about three and a half aged boy. He was so naughty at that time, like boys, general boy, that he used to go to other neighborhood gops and gopis, and he used to stall makkhan, misery, and all these things. They never wanted that Krishna should come to our houses, and he should stall something. Anyhow, Josoda knew this fact. He wanted to make Krishna a very good boy. But he did not know that his supreme personality of God has had he has come like a boy, like a child, like a son to him. So he see always doing like this. Oh naughty boy. You should not be thief, you shouldn't be like this. But we know 
that uh, Krishna was not a thief, not a liar. He was supreme personality of Godhead. He never told lie. So there are so many hist past times. I'm coming to to my more object because time is so short. In a day, we cannot express all very good pastimes of Krishna. It will take merely one month, at least one month, to tell, describe all these things. Then you can know what is love, affection, who is Krishna, who am I, everything. So, one day, Jasoda thought that my boy is going to be a thief because <coughs> in my home the cuts is not sweet, milk is not so sweet. Makhan, makhan mani. Butter. butter. Butter is not so sweet. My, this Servants, maid servants are not doing well. So he gave leave to them and he was himself churning curd for sweet butter. And if Krishna will take it, he will never go to all other neighborhoods, homes, and he will stole anything. So he was sorry. She was so beautiful. Otherwise, Krishna should but not be so beautiful. So Krishna was so beautiful, like her mother. Her mother was wearing a shadi, a reshmi shadi. So silken. Silken. Very, very lean and thin. She has some earrings. 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 Beautiful. And she was doing like this. No? So, very good sweats, like pearls were coming. And she was singing in so sweet that he was, she was so much absorbed in singing Krishna. She was singing like this. Govinda Damo Dharma Dhaveti Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti Udukkale Sang Ghantatam Dulanscha Sang Ghantayanto Musalai Pramudha Gayant Gopya <coughs> Janita Nuraga Govinda Damo Dharma Dhaveti Govinda Damo Dharma Dhaveti Govinda Damo Dharma Dhaveti She was quietly observed her churis. Bangles. You know churis. Was tinkling like Karata. Karata. And churning, the sounds coming from the pot was like murdanga. Dhiktan, dhiktan. Fai on them though, who don't love Krishna. They chant, never chant Krishna. They never serve Krishna. So fai on them. And those who are serving Krishna and chanting, remembering, their life is certainly very, they are so much lucky and lucky. But fine on them, though have the body of man, but never think about Krishna. So fine on them. She was quietly observed. Krishna was sleeping on the bed, waiting for her mother. Oh, where is mother? In morning, in Brahma Murti, you know, in morning, about Oh, we should not try to sleep because this is Brahma Murta. Those who want to be happy, 
they should give up their pets early in the morning to Early to early, early to bed and early to rise. Make a man healthy and wise. Make a man healthy and wise. 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 <laughs> you should remember all these Vedic cultures and knowledge. <laughs> I'm telling, expressing some only parts because I have told that in a day, in a moment, in a hour, we cannot express. But I'm telling something. So, <coughs> she was singing in so way that he was quite observed. But Krishna was weeping. Though he was Brahma, but he was weeping. Why he was weeping? Because previously I told that Drone and Dhara has done so much hard austerities for Krishna that he should come like a boy to me, as a son to me, and I will serve him. You should know that we are part and parcel of Krishna, and we have some relation to Krishna in our heart. If there is no relation, there is no service. If a lady, woman is married to anyone, then according to marriage, this relation has come and then each other they can serve. If you have a relation with a Small child, like she is your daughter and anyone is your wife, 